This is RuneScape's hardest challenge, the extreme one chunk Iron Man. Welcome to Chunk Surreal. Hello and welcome to my channel and this brand new One Chunk series. I'm going to be making a wild assumption here that most people that watch this already know what a One Chunk account is. But if you don't, then here's a quick rundown. The RuneScape map is split into chunks. The account is locked into one of these chunks until all of the chunk goals have been completed. These can be anything from skilling, collection logs or quest steps. Basically, anything that can be completed within that set chunk. Then, once all the tasks have been ticked off, you roll the next chunk and the process repeats itself. Got it? Good. So, here is my character, aptly named Chunk Sarim, which, as I'm sure you can guess, means that for my starting chunk, I will be locked to Port Sarim. As for the rules of this account, you'll see I've gone for a hardcore Iron Man. I don't for one minute believe the hardcore status will last even this first episode, but what's the harm, eh? But I will be playing as an Iron Man, which, to those of you who don't know, means that I won't be able to use the Grand Exchange if I was to ever unlock that chunk, and I can't trade with other players. So let's take a look at what my first chunk goals are. So here we are in the chunk picker. Firstly, a quick shout out to Source Chunk who created this amazing tool. It's completely free for you to use, but if you do want to support them through Patreon, there's a button up here that you can do that with. I'll be making sure I do. So as for the rules of my account, if we go here to the chunk rules, I've gone for the extreme chunker challenge here. Uh, it's a little bit more hardcore than the vanilla, not quite as crazy as Supreme. I just don't have enough time in the day. Um, I won't go through all of them, but there's a couple of things I have changed. So, for example, I haven't at the moment decided to go ahead with doing 99s if skill cape is in the chunk. Main reason for that is because in the chunk right next to me, there's the 99 herb, no, 99 farming challenge, which is just going to completely destroy the fun for the account for me if I get that. I've also got the 99 mining and smithing up here I believe. That'd be kind of cool to do so we'll see what happens when we get there but other than that it's pretty much the extreme rule set. So as for my first chunk goals I've got to get 30 attack to wield an adamant weapon. I think that's because there's an adamant battle axe in the battle axe shop here. 58 cooking to bake a pita bread. 59 magic to cast fire blast and one thieving to pickpocket a citizen. That's, uh, that's going to be a pretty quick one to tick off, I think. But the magic, that's going to be pretty, pretty horrible. Because I don't actually think I can get any um, battle starves or starves in this chunk at all. Uh, as for best in slot tasks, I've got to obtain the adamant battle axe. So I've got to buy that. And I've got to get a blue wizard's hat. That should be pretty simple as well. I've got to get the first step of pirate's treasure completed. Uh, that should be pretty quick. And then other than that, we've got drops. So I think the thieves, women and men all have the same drop table in this chunk. So basically I've just got to complete one set of that. So we can see all sorts of stuff here. A lot of herbs. They're probably going to be the hardest ones to collect up. Um, what have we got? One in 178 there. I think there was one more, yeah, one in 237. So that's probably going to be the hardest one to get there. Um, other than that, we've just got to kill one man, one seagull, one thief, one other thief, and one woman. Not sure how I feel about that one, but hey ho. <laughs> so before we get going, it's probably a good idea to take a quick look around our chunk. So what have we got? So we've got some seagulls over here. They'll be good to start the combat grinds. Um, obviously, we have to kill one of those as well. Poor little things. Uh, we got the monks. Uh, not sure. They just take us to Etrana, Etriana, whatever it's called. So I don't think they'll be very useful to us. We've got the spirit for a tree patch and a few willows around here. Again, not really going to be very useful. I don't even think I can get a woodcutting axe. Um, there's the pub. Let's take a look in here. Don't think there's much I can do in here. A couple of NPCs, maybe there for future quests, I'm not too sure. Uh, let's head up this way. So up here we've got the Battle Axe store just to our left. Let's take a look in here, uh, have a look at his wares. 
So I'm guessing this is where we get the adamant battle axe from. Yeah, so the adamant is there and then that's pretty nice. We can uh, unlock them all the way up so we could get one at each stage if we wanted, but we'll see how that goes. They might, co might cost a bit too much. And have a look up here. I don't think there's anything up here, but no, it doesn't seem like it. Oh, well, let's carry on. So we've got the maid shop up here to the north. This will be where we get all the um, runes for the magic grind. Uh, just so you know as well, this patch, just the dark area to, to the outside, that's the area I'm not allowed in. That indicates obviously the, the edge of the chunk that I'm in at the moment. So, yep, so we've got the, the blue hat here. So that's where we'll get that from. Um, and a nice selection of uh, runes as well. Loads of stuff to get. So that, that should be really useful for us if we can get the money for it, of course. So we've also got a jewellery store down here. I'm not actually sure what's in here. I wonder if there's going to be anything useful. Um, no, just a bunch of jewellery, really. It actually looks like someone sold some bits here. It looks like there's normally not any stock of anything, which is a shame. I don't think I'll be able to use them at all. Um, oh, well, that's a shame, but no worries. Let's carry on. So we've got this house over here. I think this is where the man and the woman spawns. Um, so I'll probably end up spending a fair amount of time in here. Yeah, there she is. There's the woman ready to be killed over and over mercilessly. And there's the man. There we go. I'm a bit worried by these thieves as well. They're level 16. So obviously if I uh, come into contact with them, they'll probably take me out pretty quickly. So hopefully I can avoid this little corner. Um, for a short while until I level up a bit. What else have we got? We've, uh, up here we've got the cat. Good, good to have a cat, obviously. Uh, back on the pier, yeah, so a few more NPCs. We've got the sailors there, um, and this is the fishing store, so this might have some... Yeah, so we've got all the fishing supplies here that we need, loads of fish to cook up if we want to do that. I'm not actually sure if there's a fishing spot here though, so I might not have any use for that yet. And over here we've got the food store, which might have some useful bits for our cooking grind. Um, let's take a look, see what they've got. Oh, there's actually some uh, goblins in here as well. That's interesting. I don't know why they didn't come up in the chunk selector. So yeah, we've got all the food that we need, loads of stuff there for healing. Um, cheese obviously, love a bit of cheese, that will probably be useful for the pizza. And that's pretty much it, so let's uh, head out and start getting up some combat levels on these poor little seagulls. This is, uh, this is gonna take a while isn't it? And there we go, the first level on our new account, level 2 attack. That seems pretty cool to me. There it is, level 2. Something I seem to remember hearing is that apparently these seagulls are one of the only NPCs that aren't able to damage me. I don't actually think it's possible for them to, to hurt me at all, which is pretty good for the low levels, especially as we're trying to see how long we can make this hardcore. Iron Man status stay. So we'll stick here for a little bit, just maybe get to start hitting some more consistent hits and then we'll move over to the men and start doing the collection log for that. Let's um, do a seagull montage. And that's level three attack. So I've just been killing seagulls. As you can see, I've killed like seven of them. And I've just realized how stupid I've been already. I mean, that's not the best start for the series, is it? I can buy a bronze and iron axe already. I think, am I right in thinking that, yeah, iron is level one as well. So I could just go straight for an iron axe, which is, how much was it? It's 52 coin. Oh no, wait. 
182 coins. So if I can get 182 coins, then I'll have a, an axe straight away to start training with. Um, now I just need to work out how to make that because I actually don't know. I'm going to have a little look around and I'll come back to you. Okay, so what I have realized is that there's an imp spawn around here. I've seen one wandering around and I've taken a look at their drop table and they've got quite a few good things actually, quite a few things worth some money, including things like the blue wizard's hat, which was something like 300 GP. I'm not sure how much it'll sell for in the magic shop, but let's see if we can get some drops from these guys because they're only level two. So hopefully I should be able to take one out, see if they drop something quite good and sell it on. See if we can afford one of these axes. Oh, see this? No, 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 no. This is the problem is that if they go, oh no. All right. Well, game over. <laughs> there we go. So I think if I accidentally go out, it is what it is, but I'll make sure I don't do anything outside of the chunk. I think that's fair. And if, for example, I accidentally kill something out here, I'll make sure I don't take the drops. But here we go. We're doing, we're doing all right here. Let's see what we get from him. A couple more hits. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? Pot of flour. Okay. Uh, where can I sell this? Do you reckon the food store? Let's go over to the food store. Okay, so let's see if I get anything for this pot of flour. Is it valued? Seven. Damn, look at that. We're rich. Seven coins already. Do I, can I sell them? No, I can't sell that. Can I sell them? No. But that's good. That means there is a way of making money. Um, I know the imps have some better drops than that so i'm gonna keep killing a few of them see if i can collect just enough money for maybe that um iron axe and we'll see where we get so um cool wish me luck ah so this is a problem the um imp is on the wrong side of the wall i don't I have no idea what its range is around here i don't think i can't i don't think i can go through this can i yeah, level 42. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, well, what I'll do then, I'll start hopping worlds, see if I can find this imp. Let's go. Yes, I found one. There we go. All right, let's see what we get for here. I'm already out of run energy. What would be really cool is if I get the... Uh, where's it gone? Oh, it's up here. Okay. If I get the um, blue wizard's hat because that's a chunk of gold to wear anyway so i can tick that off straight away come on what are we gonna get what are we gonna get potion oh no i don't want to talk to him what potion Fair enough. Okay. What I'll do, I'll kill a few things and then I'll see what I can uh, can sell to shops. I might have to do some more hopping. Let's see what we get. Tell you what I'm also going to do is remove roofs. How do I do that? Hide roofs, there we go, just in case, because I don't know if it can go in here. And if I'm hopping worlds and I, it's in here and I miss it, then that would be a bit annoying. There he is. Let's get him. Weird looking thing, isn't it? Oh, where's he gone? What I'm really worried about is them respawning somewhere over here and just running off. So I'm not going to be able to keep my eyes off the screen much for this. An egg. An egg. Got one. No, 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 no. Oh. Is he going to 
gonna come back this way. Oh, that's so annoying. Come on. Come on. Oh, he's teasing me. Come on. There he goes. All right. Let's get him. No, 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 no. Oh, where'd he go? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, he's, he's all the way out there. Oh, that's so annoying. Is he going to work his way back? Come on. Come on. Is he? Oh, he is. is he? Hey, there he is. Oh, it's on. Nothing at all, just some ash. Well, that's a bit annoying. I have actually just realized as well, I don't have a um, bank. Huh. I did not think this through. Okay, so where's the nearest bank then? It'll be, well, it'll be Draenor, won't it? But I can't get to Draenor until I unlock this chunk because I need to damn okay well that's just made this a bit more challenging then it looks like we're playing as a uh, ultimate iron man until we get a bank what have we got we've got the one in Draenor we've got one here in Falador but if we unlock that then it means we've got a horrible mining and smithing grind um, it's not one, no, well, that's going to be fun, isn't it? Let's see how this goes. Okay. So I have just realized that we do have a deposit box. So although I won't be able to take anything out of the bank, at least I know I don't have to throw things away. So if there's something that I know I won't need for a chunk goal. I can at least put it in the bank. I just won't be able to take it out. Um, I'm trying to remember. So I've got Trana there. I'm trying to remember where all these go. So these will go over to Karamja Island, I believe. And then is there the void? Oh, okay. So I've got the void night. I don't know if. I'm not sure how that works, if that counts as a available chunk, the Void Knight Outpost, when I've completed this, because I can get there. I'm just not sure. I'm going to have to research what the rules are for that and if I can use that as a way to and from a chunk. I did just have the thought that I can also pickpocket men for money as well, but I remembered that I also get damaged for that, so I'm going to... See how far through the coin pouches I can get before I lose all my health because I don't want to spend any money on food yet. And I'm trying to think of where to get food. So whilst I've got a bit of health, I'm going to try this and we'll see what happens. See how much we get. How much do I actually get? Per... Okay, so that was four for 12. So that's three coins. Oh, I'm going to need quite a few of these then if I want to get the battle axe i think i want to aim for about 200 gp so we'll see where we get but it's a free few thieving levels as well which is always nice so i started and now Oh, I can now. I got stunned about five times in a row then. So I'm not sure if there's maybe Hey, look at that thieving level two. I'm not sure if there's like a limit to the amount of times you can pickpocket an NPC before it doesn't let you anymore until you've had a bit of a break. I'm not sure. There we go. So I've got stunned again now. I did five, what, five in a row then. I've been stunned once. Oh, okay. Maybe I just got super unlucky then. Let's um, continue with this and see how far we get. 
it's definitely a lot quicker for the money than the um, imp hunting was anyway. Level three thieving, that's pretty cool. I'm also gonna swap left click for now to pickpocket because I forgot you could do that. Okay, so I've just been stunned again. I'm down to, well, it was two, but three HP. So let's uh, open, see how much cash we've got. 97, damn, that's not bad. We got another one. Let's get him. Hey, attack level num level five. That's pretty cool. So I get, did that say I can now use steel? Well, how much is a steel axe? I'm gonna have to find that out now in case I should just save up for that instead. Tell you what, whilst to do that, I'm gonna switch to strength training, just so I can maybe hit a bit higher on these in a couple of levels. And what do we get? Burnt bread. Great. You know what? Let's start a burnt food collection. Why the hell not? I've seen people do that before, actually. Like, people will offer to buy burnt food in, like, the GE and stuff. I don't really get why, but if other people do it, then I'm going to do the same. Okay, we got another one. Let's see what we get from him. When you're ready. There we go. Bucket of water. Can't imagine that's uh, going to be very useful to me. What's it? Got another one. Here we go. Got the kill on level two strength. Nice. Oh, and a black bead. Okay, I'm going to save that because I'll oh, combat level number five, number five as well. So the black bead will be useful for whatever quest it is. You got to collect the beads. I can't remember what it is it's called but yeah you got to get four of these beads and you got to kill imps for them because i'm an iron man so i can't just buy them off the grand exchange not that i can get to the grand exchange anyway i think the quest is where is it i think it's down in the mage tower which is here so i would have to unlock a few a few chunks to get there but you know may as well save them just in case anyway let's um Get back to imp hunting. Yellow bead, nice. That's another one for the quest. So I'll save that. Level two prayer as well. And that's level three strength, nice. Okay, so this isn't really working out too great, but that's all right. We got a couple of useless bits. Um, so I'm gonna drop the bits that I don't need now into the deposit box and my health is regen so i think i'm just going to go back and uh carry on pickpocketing because that seemed to be really the quickest and most efficient way to get cash right now level four thieving nice level five thieving awesome Okay, so we're back down to one HP. So let's call that that. And look, we've got 244 coins. So hopefully we'll be able to um, get ourselves an axe. Let's check that out. So here it is, the iron battle axe, 182. What is the steel worth though? Oh, 650, that's a bit. Ah. Yeah, let's get, the, let's get the iron for now and then we'll... Um, We'll come back for the steel in a bit. Check it out. How cool is that? Our first weapon on the account. All right. Let's, um, let's go kill some men and women. Don't want to be, be um, discriminatory now, do we?
Oh shit, I forgot. I've no. <laughs> Oh, that's so sad. Well, <laughs> there goes our hardcore status. Oh, dear. Oh, that's sad. Okay, well, there goes the hardcore status. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That is funny. Oh, the uh, shameful walk back. Oh, well. I wasn't too bothered about the hardcore status anyway, but it was just a bit of a laugh. Oh, my God. I can't believe literally maybe an hour into playing and I lost it. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, well. Let's um, get back to it. Get back to our chunk and um, carry on with the goals. So one thing I'm not really sure about is why the imp doesn't count as a collection log for this chunk. I'm guessing its spawn is just outside of this chunk, maybe on the one directly to the north of here. Um, but yeah, it's interesting. I would have thought that because it's wandering around my chunk, it would count. But yeah, I'm also worried about the amount of health that the men and women take from me at the moment. So I might have to go back to the uh, seagulls just to see how long, uh, what am I talking about? See if I can uh, <laughs> get some more levels up from them first as I know they're, they're easy. Strength level four, nice. And combat level six. Oh, earth talisman, nice. So if I uh, am ever crazy enough to try doing some rune crafting or well, have to do some rune crafting. Got the Earth Talisman there. So yeah, I'm gonna step away from the men and women for now. I'm just gonna go back to the seagulls just to maybe, I don't know, maybe base eight or something. I don't know. We'll just kill a few and then see where we get. Our first random we just finish killing this seagull and then we'll see what that's all about i've always been i've always been so terrible at this thing go on get her yes there we go what do we get damn three uncut sapphires now do i can i even sell them i'm not sure i can i'll keep them for now and um We'll see if I need the money or if I can just chuck them in my bank for some crafting XP for when I need it. Because they would be super useful for that. Anyway, back to the seagulls. Let's see how we uh, get on with these. That's level 5 strength. I'm just going to get my defense up to 5 as well. To defense hey defense level three defense level four nice and total level 50 that's not bad there it is level five defense so we're going to go back onto attack finish this one off and then i think i'm going to just try the uh men and women again see if i get damaged too much or if that five defense is enough to sustain me from getting killed again i'm just going to bury all these bones as well whilst we're at it that three level three prayer nice does anyone else just spam the bones like this or do you do it one at a time cool so it's like halfway through level three that's not bad okay let's go back to the um, men and women see if we get damaged or not so i literally just this guy this thief he was right here and I ran straight past him and he didn't even try to attack me. So I'm guessing they're not vicious, I guess, which is pretty nice. So that's good to know. Anyway, let's try these uh, 
Man out. See, they don't seem to be hitting as much now, which is definitely awesome. Cool. Yeah, they seem a lot easier now. So I'm going to get to killing these uh, men and women, slaughtering the civilians of Port Surim. And yeah, we'll see what we get, see what drops we get, see if we can start taking some things off the box, off the box, off the log. And um, yeah, I'll get back to you soon. Level 6 attack and level 12 hit points. Oh, nice. The grimy lantadime. That was, um, I think that was one of the rarer drop. Yeah, one in 237. I think that's the, the rarest drop on the, yeah. Okay, that's pretty awesome to have that knocked off earlier rather than later. Okay, so I'm back down to 4 HP again, so I might have to, uh, maybe I'm going to go back to these ducks, not ducks, what are they, uh, seagulls, go back to the seagulls, maybe get myself up to 10 defense, it's probably a more sensible thing to go for, let's do that, let's go up to 10 defense and then back to the uh, men and women. Level 6 defense, level 7 defense, level 8 defense, level 9 defense, and that's level 10 defense. All right. Black armor, white armor, slayer helm. None of that I think will I be able to get, but that's cool. Let's um, bury these bones and then get back to the men and women. Yeah, so I think this is uh, survivable now. I think we can carry on killing the uh, men and women and start collecting this log up. So let's... Uh, Let's do it. Oh my god, it happened again. I was uh, not looking whilst I was attacking men. And yeah. Oh well. Back we go again. Let's see if we can pick our stuff up. <laughs> well, we got our stuff back. Um, I think given that there's a cooking task that I need to do for this chunk and I obviously need some food I think maybe it'd be worthwhile starting on that instead maybe starting doing some cooking first and then move on to the combat that probably makes a bit more sense to me so what I'm going to do I'm going to have a little quick look around see what the best um best way to do that would be and uh yeah let's get going with that Okay, so I think what I found out is in the food shop down here, I can buy meat and chickens, raw raw meat and chicken for one GP each. Um, and obviously there's a, a range in here. So I would have to buy them, cook them, and then use it as food whilst I do the combat because obviously, well, unless I banked it, I may as well use it. And I think that's probably the best way to go about it. And as I was searching, um, found a couple of things, which is kind of useful. So firstly, obviously to make the pizza base, I need uh, water of some sort. The only place I can find to get water is the imp that spawns over here. I think it's the one in the 32 drop or something. That's the only way I can see it, but the imps weren't on the drop log for this chunk. So I'm not quite sure what that's about, but you know, whatever. Um, so at least I know that's where I can get the water for that now. Um, I also found when I was having a look around this food shop over here, there's some goblins that spawn over here. One of which the drops again is they're not look, there's another imp. Um, yeah, so these goblins I don't think count in this chunk because they actually spawn over here, but they all come wandering over. They drop a bronze square shield, which would be really useful for me for defense. So I might, if I can be bothered, do a bit of um, grinding them out just to see if I can get that bronze square shield because I think that'd be pretty cool to have. So we'll see how we get on with that. Um, for now, I'm just going to buy the... Oh, the other problem with this is it only sells one at a time. So I'm going to have to buy and then hop world and keep doing that. Oh, wait, can I do the potato? Oh, I won't do that. 
probably more expensive. So if I just buy and then hop to another world and then buy more, get a full inventory, cook them up, use it as food whilst I do the combat, that'll get me some more money as well. And um, yeah, go from there, I guess. See how much is the potato? The potato is one GP each. Let me um quickly... Let me quickly see what level I need to be to cook something potato related. Okay, so a baked potato is at level seven. Okay. All right, well, when I get to level seven, maybe I'll start adding potatoes into the mix as well then. But for now, let's um keep hopping worlds and collect some meat up. I'll see you when I've got a full inventory, I guess. Okay, that's a full inventory of food. Let's take it over to the range over here cook it up see how much xp we get level two cooking three cooking four cooking five cooking level six cooking okay there we have it there's our um full in inventory of food i'll drop the burnt meat into the deposit box because we collect those for some reason and then let's get back to combat nice i just got the uh ranar that i needed from the last drop Oh, and there's the uh, Marion, Marin, Marantil. Oh, and there's the uh, Cadentine. Damn, three in, three in a row. We're doing all right. And we just missed a uh, level 10 attack as well. So that's pretty cool to have. So I think that means I can use is that black equipment. Oh, and I just got the uh, Guam, Guam leaf as well. That's sick. That's like most of the herbs ticked off now, I think. So I uh, I just joined the, I guess the official one chunk clan as well. And uh, they're a really cool group of guys. I'm just laughing about the fact that I died to a, to a man already. So <laughs> yeah, so it's cool to uh, be talking to, with, with some other people doing the same thing. It turns out there is another um, person in Surim. Uh, where were they? Oh, I've lost them. But yeah, no, it seems like a cool group of people. Looking forward to um, chatting more with them. Oh, it's a good day. Bronze med helm. Check it out. Oh, yes. What well, we got? Plus three, plus four, plus two. Damn, I'm looking good. Oh, damn, Avento. I don't think I've uh, picked this one up yet. Well, we uh, just hit 15 attacks, so I think I'm going to swap over to strength for a little bit and get that up. And it looks like we just got our first clue scroll. That's pretty cool. wonder if it's uh, something we're going to be able to do. Let's take a look. Ah, oh, Wizard's Tower. It's not far. It's not far, but I don't think we're going to be able to do that now. Um... I don't know if it's worth keeping though, because we could get Wizard's Tower in the next couple of couple of chunks, really. I think I'm going to uh, have to have a look at the clue list and see if there are any actually in Port Sarum. And if there aren't, then maybe we'll just keep this one. Oh, and there's a uh, seven strength as well. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool on our way to ten. That'll um, make some big differences, I'm sure. Oh, and there's the uh, Grimy Terramin as well. And that's the uh, Iron Dagger. Sick. Awesome. That's uh, 10 strength. So now at base 10s. So we'll get this to 15 and then maybe defense up to 15 too. That's a good, good little milestone for the end of um, night one. Hey, and there is the easy clue scroll. Nice. That's both the clue scrolls now. And it looks like we've got ourselves our first army random. Jog, push-ups, jog again, sit-up, star jumps. There we go. I think we're going to have to put this bad boy on. Hey, check me out. I like it. Oh man, this is so cool. So this Joshio guy, he uh, he's just come over and just said like, good luck with the grinds and everything. It's such a cool community on this game. First time someone's like approached me for doing like a one chunk challenge and like asked me questions and stuff like that. Awesome. Shout out to you, man. I hope you see this. So whilst we're at it, let's uh, take a look at this easy clue. Alcarid, no, not a chance. It's going to have to be dropped. 
Sorry to see it go, but it is what it is. All right, back to killing men and women. Actually, before that, I'm going to do some more food. I'm going to do another food run, I think. Ah, see, all these goblins in here are just waiting to be attacked, I swear. Given that they have a bronze shield, I kind of want it. It's a best in slot. It's not on the list, but it is a best in slot for this chunk. Oh my god. I got an insult goblin head on the first car. That's pretty cool. Let's see what we get out of a couple. Just whilst I'm um, hopping to get food, I'll just kill the ones that are in the shop and see if I get a couple of good drops. Could be a bit of money. Who knows? A seven cooking. Eight cooking. Nine cooking. Ah, uh, didn't quite make it to 10 cooking, but that's another pretty decent inventory full of food. So let's uh, drop those burnt ones off in the deposit box and get back to it. I think I might actually drop one of these meats off as well, because this inventory is a bit too full. I'm not really burning through any food anymore. So I don't want to end up stumping myself and not having enough stuff for drops. So I'm going to maybe drop the chicken in the inventory. Uh, in the bank, sorry, and then the rest of it I can use whilst I'm out. Oh, and there's chaos runes I needed. Nice. Okay, that's another thing to tick off. And there's 13 strength. Oh, Ranar. That was another one that I needed, wasn't it? Oh, that's sick. We're finally ticking a few off. Just a couple more to go now. And that's 14 strength. Oh, Avento, that's another one I needed. And that is 15 strength. So with that, I'm going to move over to block. Um, so I can just get everything to 15 and then I'll go up to 20 on each, I reckon. It's a new day. I um, went to bed last night after realizing that half of what I recorded, I was on the wrong screen. So I was on the... Uh, chunk picker rather than the client which is a bit annoying didn't didn't get much new stuff though i got the earth runes which is cool um and i got this easy clue scroll but it's unfortunately not something i'm going to be able to do for a very long time so off it goes um i also looked up the key so the key that the men drop apparently that's only during a medium clue task but I'm not able to do a medium clue at the moment. I, I don't think there's any way for me to get one. So I'm going to take that off the list. Or I'm going to backlog it um, for now. So there's only a couple more things left to get now. Hey, and there's the grimy Cadentine. Needed that one. I don't know why this uh, easy clue scroll is still on the floor. I dropped that, well, about 10 minutes ago. But it's still there. I don't know what the drop time is because the little green circle went. The little drop timer circle, but it's still on the floor. So if someone can let me know why that's still there, that'd be great to know. Oh, and we've got ourselves a mysterious old man. So I'm going to finish killing this woman and then I'm going to do that. I'm guessing that's the maze. Let's find out. Mime show. Oh, here we go. Let's just bury some of these bones so I can have a bit of space for the reward. Yes, I'd love to do a mime show. Of course I would. I'm right. Glass wall. Think. That's <laughs> such a goofy dance. There we go. Glass box emote. Joy. I guess we're going to have to do it anyway, just to... There it is. Is that it? But it at least got a bit longer than that. Oh, well. Back to killing. Oh, I just hit uh, prayer level 10 as well. That's pretty sick. Oh, hell yeah. We got the bronze shield. Let's go, baby. Oh, hang on. Let me... We'll get that hammer whilst we're at it. Let's uh, see how this looks. Damn, we're looking good. So what was that bonus? Was it 
plus five stab, six slash, four car. That's good. Nice. Looking like a real, uh, real warrior now. And that's um, our full inventory of food. So let's go cook this stuff up. 10 cooking. That's 19 attack. Oh, and I just missed it. I just hit attack level 20. That's awesome. We're on our way there. I could get a mithril axe now if I wanted, but I'm not going to have the right money for a long time. That's all right. We'll keep grinding. Hey, 12 prayer. Nice. Oh, that's big, 20 hit points, that's awesome. So along with attack, got 20s there. Gonna keep on with the uh, attack XP though, I wanna just get that up to 30 before getting these two up, just cause it's one of the chunk goals, so may as well, and then I can jump to one of these if I get to there without completing all of these guys. All right, another easy task. Let's um, see if it's something we can do. Oh, PvP arena. Nah, that's a uh, that's not happening anytime soon. Oh well, 21 attack, 22 attack. Oh, and we got a graveyard random or whatever they're called, grave digger random. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's go do it. You go there. You go there. You go there. You go there. Which means you go there. Leo, I've finished my job. Nice, and we got the zombie mask. Let's see what this bad boy looks like. <laughs> that's so dumb. And that's 23 attack. Hey, and there's the qualm. Yes. So now we've got, I think, one more herb to get, which is the dwarf weed, and then we are done. 24 attack. Yes, and there it is, the dwarf weed. Oh my god, that's sick. So that's the uh, collection log for the men and women and thief, technically, all completed now. So let's jump over to the task list and start ticking some bits off. So as for skills, we're quickly closing in on that 30 attack, so I think next episode we'll have that. 58 cooking is a little way off yet, but we are still slowly ramping towards that as well. That 59 magic goal is going to be grim though. As for the hit list, we've done the man, the seagull, the thief, the woman. So that's the hit list all complete. Moving on to the collections, we've done the whole thing today. So that's pretty awesome. That's that one all ticked off as well. Quests, that's not going to take us long. So maybe we'll tick that one off next time for a quick and easy win. And then the best in slot, I've got my eyes on that battle axe as soon as possible next episode. And I'm sure we'll get that blue wizard hat as well. Thank you very much for watching this episode. I really hope you enjoy it. Um, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you will. That'd be really awesome as well. Um, and if you've got any comments or improvements I can do, please let me know. I'm really open to listening to your suggestions. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you next time.